You must be wondering, okay, it's 2016. What does my year look like? Well, let me tell you this. Behavior science has shown that you want to take what worked the year before and build on it so that 2016 or the next year works out even better. And so I want to share with you five learnings that I took from 2015 that I'm going to map into 2016 and build on it because it worked for me then. And I'm going to share those with you today. Hi, my name is Zahin Nanji and I'm the author of The Resilience Reflex, Eight Keys to Transforming Your Barriers into Success in Life and Business. So the first thing that I want to share with you is focus. You must have heard this word a lot, right? Focus. But the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because when you focus on one big goal and chunk it down into different tasks that work for you, then it really works well. For example, in my business, I worked on one goal and that was to write my book. So I started in February of 2015 and I finished July 1st, 2015. So it took me five months. And then I worked on the marketing part of it. So the whole year was basically just about my book and it actually became an international bestseller on Amazon Kindle. So I'm going to take that same learning now into 2016 and I'm just working on one goal again and that is to build an online course. So I'm offering, I'm actually offering it first as a pilot to see how it works and then build on it again to make it a longer course. The second thing that I took from 2015 is, hmm, this is a big one, get help. I found that every time I hired a coach to help me with my business, it took me to another level altogether. In fact, I grew my speaking business by 240% over 2014 and 2015. That's huge. And if I can do that with the help of a coach, you can do that with anything, any, any part of your business. So I hired not one, but two coaches. One was for my book. And the second one was to help me with the business of speaking. So get help. The third thing that helped me was to plan ahead right there. And I have an acronym there that is God, G-O-D. And it means that one, you have a goal, like I had my book, and you will have obstacles throughout the year. Something will come up that will stop you from doing your goal. But then so what if you have that obstacle? That doesn't mean you give up. It doesn't mean it's a failure, but then you decide or do something to get back on track or to get back into your goal. So G-O-D is pretty, is an easy acronym for, for you to remember. So plan ahead. And also when it comes to your health, I know being a busy woman and having a family, I had to plan ahead my meals. So on Sundays, guess what? I would plan ahead my meals. So that is very important. And then the last two things that I want to touch upon are consistency and strategizing. Consistency is so important. So again, with my book, when I wrote it, I would have every Sunday morning where I would make sure that I keep that spot for writing. So from five to 11 in the morning, I would write. Consistency when it came to getting people on board with different things. So for example, I would blog every week. I would do a hangout show twice a month. I would see clients so many times a month and so on. So consistency is very important. And then strategizing, strategizing your business and your life so that it fits into your lifestyle, not you fitting into something else, but making it work for you. That is called strategizing. So I'm, I'm going to use all these five learnings and map it, like I said before, into 2016 so I can build on it and work towards what I want to achieve. And I hope that these five learnings helped you too. Until next time, thank you. And remember, subscribe to my channel. Bye now.